Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. <laughs> this is an actress named Anna Prochniak. Many times they're posing with an apple with a bite out of it, or just an apple in general. And I don't think I'm alone in thinking of Genesis, right? In the very beginning, Adam and Eve got beguiled by Satan the serpent. Eve got beguiled and convinced Adam. God said, please don't do this one thing. Satan said, you will be as gods. You shall not surely die. So when they have a bite out of an apple, it's very much like Genesis. This world is biblical. And these people do some biblical, you know, like poses and they reference it. It's unfortunate they probably don't follow the Bible, but the God of this world, the small g God of this world, and it's more than a shame. I, I still can't wrap my head around it. Eternity is on the line. Heaven and hell. Like, people should really give this some really good thought, not just like, eh, I, don't, I don't know what happens when I die. Who cares? Like, it's so important. It's, it's so important. So she's doing one eye symbolism, having a leaf, dark and one eye utterly, doing the eye of Horus. She's doing more one eye symbolism there. More one eye symbolism there. More one eye symbolism there. And she's hanging out on the Freemason checkerboard. What a shame. I also wanted to add this. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. <laughs> But a lot of people claim they come to Jesus and Christianity, and some people, and again, I, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that they do find Jesus and have salvation. Of course I want that. But some people, they make up a version of Jesus that is not biblical, and that is not the real Jesus. Many of you might be aware of this. A former Satanic Church member from South, uh, South Australia, from South Africa, did the former leader of a satanic church find the real Jesus? And there's a little article here. I will copy and paste this article in the comment section. So this guy claims to have come to Christ, but let's listen what Daryl says here in the comments. He says, hi, Mark. That's the, the author of this article. Several times, Ryan, I, I think he misspelled this like Rihanna, but I think the guy's name is Ryan, just spelled a little different. Several times, Ryan expressed his disagreement with Christianity. You misquoted him about Christianity. It's not a gated community. It's open to everybody, he said. The kingdom is not a gated community. If I may, I'll leave quotes and timestamps from the video revealing his perception and attitude to Christianity. He met a Jesus that accepted his gay lifestyle, which the Christians in his life did not, nor his psychic practices, that Jesus and God, along with his spirit guides and angels, those of us that have been doing this for a while, when people have spirit guides and angels and all these things, it is demons. Yes, and yes, angels can visit people, and I believe we have guardian angels, you know, helping out and doing God's work and protecting us. I believe that does happen. But so many people, he is, he is a gay psychic that feels no reason to come out of both of those lifestyles, and he has his own spirit guides and all this other stuff, which are demons. People should not mess with this. It's in the Bible, and many people in the truth community are helping people to know that this stuff we should not participate in. So again, the Christians in his life did not accept his gay lifestyle, right? That's, that's what we should be doing. Nor his psychic practices. That Jesus and God, along with his spirit guides and angels, apparently approved of as well. The Bible was not important as it boxed people in. Unconditional love su superseded scripture. And all that matters is grace, not the established truth of scripture. Christ consciousness, which is a huge, huge New Age red flag, it's blasphemy. Jesus is not a Christ consciousness, right? He didn't come and die on the cross so we could, you know, raise our <laughs> vibration and raise our consciousness. He died for sin. We're all sinners. We need salvation through Jesus' precious blood, his death, burial, and resurrection on the cross. So Christ consciousness reveals unconditional love. A lot of people, right, love is love and like unconditional love and God is love. God is love, but he doesn't, he doesn't love everything. Why do people think this? And why do people think the homosexual lifestyle and community are, are fine with God? Because they're not. 
And then he goes on to say, after watching the video, here's a few more points. And this is all, like in quotes, this is the, the former satanic priest guy. He says, people who say, if you're gay or a psychic, it doesn't fit into the box. You're, you're a devil. No, no, no. You need to find it for yourself. It's love. No, it is not. I was walking on the beach, having a beautiful, beautiful conversation, talking with God and my guides and angels. Those are demons in disguise, familiar spirits. A friend said, imagine a religion based on the teachings of Jesus because it's not Christianity. The important thing is love. It's that teaching unconditional love. And he goes on to say, Jesus was one of the teachers that God impersonated to show us unconditional love. Some people will think that is a good, true statement. It's love. It's love. Jesus was just one of the teachers that God impersonated to show us unconditional love. The conversation I was having with God or the divine, the book, etc. It's not a book. It's not a book, people. God speaks to us in many different ways. There's no condemnation. There's no judgment. It's perfect love and the grace that is available to anybody and for everybody. We should repent of our sins. I've written 700 pages from conversations with spirit and with God and with connecting to the Christ consciousness. I can't stand when people bring this up. It is completely new age garbage. It really is. Uh, Ryan Swaglar's spiritual experience created a new religion. He encountered another Jesus who accepted him as a gay psychic. He, he never acknowledged becoming a Christian. He wants Jesus' unconditional love and his lifestyle too. And it goes on, uh, by his own definition and acknowledgement are not Christian. They're not about a book, the Bible, and about his idea of God and unconditional love that does not see sin as separate from him, but, but acceptance without repentance. Oh. He has created his own religion based on his understanding of the teachings of Jesus, one of the great teachers that God impersonated to show us unconditional love, a religion based on distorted view of the teachings of Jesus, not Christianity. The important thing is love that, that is teaching unconditional love. This is not the gospel, though, and no, it is not. So it's right, we hear stories like this, and people like, a lot of Christians go, yeah, great, he's a Christian now. We need to do a bit of a litmus test. We need to kind of judge them by their fruit. How dare you? Like, everyone makes judgments all the time. Please get over saying don't judge and all that stuff. God judges, of course. And as Christians, we can use righteous judgment. And anyone that says, why are you judging? And all Like, that is them judging my opinion on things and my stance on things. Everyone uses judgment and discernment, especially Christians use discernment of the Holy Spirit. So after reading that, let's pray for this man because I believe he's just making up a version of Jesus that doesn't exist. Maybe he had some kind of divine encounter. I don't know. God knows his heart. But it's not just unconditional love. That's it. That's all that matters. I can keep my lifestyle. We're all fallen sinners that fall way short. Christians are not perfect people. That is very clear. So again, I just thought it was interesting because I, I saw a quick video on this guy and then I thought I'd type in, I'm like, I don't know, is it like, is this guy, is, is he, is he, was he gay or is he still gay? And like, and I know, I know that's hard for people. Like people are gay, right? People have, I, I'm not sure entirely what makes them gay, but they do deal with it. And I don't know if it ever goes away completely, right? They still probably struggle with it. Everyone has struggles in life, but following Jesus and remaining in unrepentant homosexuality, I don't believe that's the Christian walk that anyone should do. And I want to pray for people that struggle with it because it must be very hard. I don't know what that's like, but I've, I've struggled with lust before. I used to look at pornography quite often. I had sex outside of marriage and I don't know, I've, <laughs> it was, it, I was living that lifestyle and not really caring. I'm like, well, I, I, I do love this person that I'm doing this with and, you know, but God's ways are the right ways. And let me tell you this as a, an honest human being. Certain things that are hard at first, if you walk with Jesus and put him more first in your life, it does get easier. It really does. It's not going to be perfect, I don't think, until we go home and get raptured out of this hellhole. But walking with Jesus and putting him first is the right thing to do. And all of our sinful flesh nature, it's hard to shake that off. I know. We all deal with that stuff. And if someone says, I've never dealt with that or I don't deal with it, they're a liar. Everyone deals with their sin and we live in a sinful, fallen world. 
The world is promoting sin all the time. Pride of sin and abomination, right? So brothers and sisters, I just thought I'd add this to the end of that video of, of Anna here, taking a bite out of the apple like in Genesis. And then again, the satanic church priest guy, right? That's wonderful if he came out of that lifestyle because it's deception leading people to hell. But when he talks about Christ consciousness, spirit guides, uh, being a psychic and not repenting of it and being a, a homosexual and saying it's unconditional love and all this other things, he needs to make some corrections, right? And if you think I'm judging him unfairly, I care about people and I want to point things out. I use people as examples because, you know, the, again, none of us are perfect walking a perfect sinless life. We all struggle and I think we can relate to one another. I'm never saying I'm off limits to what I'm talking about. I'm including myself and in everything I talk about. I, I don't want God to think I'm a hypocrite or a liar or anything bad like that. I want to be a good and faithful servant. And if it looks like crazy judgment to some people sometimes, we need to use judgment and discernment in the world. We need to do it. People that say they don't do that or whatever, they're lying. They use judgment. They use discernment. And we need to. It can be a very good thing. It's not always a negative thing. But too often people say, judge not lest ye be judged and all that kind of stuff. That is, about not, that is about not judging hypocritically, right? If someone does, like if I did the same things this guy does, and then I say, this guy shouldn't do it, but I can do it, like that would be ridiculous, okay? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I know most of you understand. And if you don't understand, drop a comment below. We'll figure this out together. Again, I will leave this article. If you want to read it, I'll copy and paste it into the comment section. God bless you, everyone.